Maureen Foreman, and I am on the board of UCLA AMG Administrative Management Group. And I'm delighted to bring to you today film and television director Rod Hardy. He is leaving his busy set life to share some tips with us about how to emote through the camera during this unique time of teleconferencing. He's also going to give us some great tips about our lighting and sound. Rod, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Rod Hardy. Um, I'm an Australian film director. I live in Los Angeles where I've been uh, almost 30 years now working in the film and television industry. I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity of working with people like Michael Caine, uh, Pierce Brosnan, uh, Bradley Cooper, Ryan Reynolds, uh, and a whole bunch of other people, Daniel Radcliffe, etc. Um, so I've had an opportunity to work with some very talented people and I've, I've learned a lot of things from those very talented people as well. Um, and as far as projects are concerned, I've done television here. Back in Australia, I did a number of television productions, but uh, I came to the United States and worked on Movie of the Weeks. I've done a lot of uh, series like X-Files and Battlestar Galactica um, and a number of Westerns and science fiction projects. So my experience is pretty broad and I and I've enjoyed the experience of being here in the US. I think a good director will sort of make everything ready for a scene. And that was evidence this morning when we made everything ready for this teleconference that we're having right now, just in terms of lighting and where you were sitting. Can you tell us a little bit about the importance of lighting angles and sound when you're uh, emoting through a camera? And I think I've got to start with the fact when you're going to have a Zoom conference of any sort, be it with a family member or whether you're there with a corporate uh, uh, group in the conversation, it's got to be about coming from you. It's got to be a very honest. That's the same thing with acting. Um, I always say that actors, it's in the eyes. So try and find a place where A, as I've tried to do here, is some natural light coming in. I think that helps uh, create the mood. Whether in fact this lighting was right for me or not, it may, as long as it's making you look younger, I'm happy to do that. But it is a process about connecting with your audience. So from my perspective, finding the right lighting and the right camera angle that will give you a, an opportunity to look at, look at your best is all I can say. Um, you know, it, 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 you're not in a room, if you're having a conference with 10 to 30 people and you're sitting in your living room, there's a whole different persona to that. So as I say to people, in, including in acting, use the camera lens if you're doing an audition and make it as if it's one person only. And make those people, that one person, that camera, appreciate that you're coming from a truthful place. So that, in general terms, is the simplest of all. Most of these things are fairly simple, I have to tell you. It, it is about personality, which leads me to the next most important thing of exposing your true personality. If there's not a proper microphone operating and the room is booming, as we say in the sound um, part of the business, then your real sense is not coming over during that conversation. If I, I can't do it now, but if I was to take this to the other end of the room and expect it to pick up my voice clearly, it may still be there, but it won't have the strength that it's, that's required. So find a good position for a microphone. My recommendation is if you're doing conference calls like this often, to get one of those um, lapel mics uh, that you can attach to your computer um, uh, or your phone and they will help bring this, the strength of your voice forward. I think a large part of in-person meetings was body language. It was a big part of the conversation. And now that we've shifted to teleconferencing, we're confined to this, this box, and it's a little bit more difficult to show that side of the conversation. And I was wondering, what are your suggestions to ensure that we're, we're still emoting on camera without getting too, too theatrical? <laughs> Sometimes I would suggest, as you can see the size of the shot that I'm on, um, even just leaning forward at that point to make, to make that point, you see it immediately makes the, 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 the moment become stronger. So, um, you know, this is a comfortable position for most people. I wouldn't get the camera too much closer because, look, you can see every mark on my face. 
So at least if you find the right position, and including, let me tell you, the right angle, because apart from the fact you can see my messy desk behind me, what that's doing is it's making, surprisingly enough, gives you, and you can, I'm sure I'll, if I show it to you again, you'll see it, there's, there's more of a friendliness to it. It's like as if it's the point of view of somebody looking down on you. It even can be something, and not necessarily for me, but can help make you look a little younger. I have to also let ladies know, it's not a good thing to put the camera down too low. Because when you do that, can you see what's happening with me? Look at this gobble, 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 gobble. So find the right position for the camera um, and, and take the time before the meeting to just look at that. It may seem egotistical, uh, and I'm not suggesting we're all auditioning for a number one part in a major motion picture, but just treat the meeting with respect from the beginning to the end. I really like the way you made the point by moving towards the camera. <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. Now, what I'm finding really interesting is where you're sitting in our frame. So you're not dead center. You're off a little bit to the side. And I actually find that um, aesthetically appealing. Is there a rule that says that you should be in the center of your shot? Or is it acceptable in a teleconference to move to the side? Framing, composition is always very important. Um, and certain directors have a particular style to it. Some directors really want, just want that. They only want, they want all the framing to have the, the geography where you are. Um, and some people prefer it the other way around, where it's um, framed on the other side. Personally, I just say in conferencing calls, the best position is the one where you look at your best. So find that, find that right angle. Uh, and that comes down to, again, I repeat light. If you notice the light coming from the window here is natural light rather than, I don't have any direct um, uh, imit lights that's imitating light. Um, I prefer natural light um, and probably because it puts some shadows across my face and, and removes some of the wrinkles, not all of them. But if I actually got right in the light, I mean, you would see, if, you see what I'm saying? If I bring that camera too close, um, it's too confronting. The size of the shot, we use those in, in making movies. Um, you know, we will start a scene with people talking like this, and as the moments become intense, we'll make the lens get closer because that becomes more dramatic. You know, I hate you is better on that, length, on that framing than it is I hate you, that framing. So, so in a sense, really what we're doing is creating the drama. I repeat, in, in um, conferencing, please don't get too intense about uh, how you perform in front of the camera. Make it natural as best you can. But ahead of time, find the right angle, find the right lighting. Make sure the sound is working efficiently. Um, and then go for it and, and do it with truth and honesty and your best results will be found. Now, for those who may be feeling a little overwhelmed with what we discussed today, or maybe a lot overwhelmed with just teleconferencing in general, getting into the meeting, having your audio working, having your video working, let alone looking good while doing it. That is a lot to ask some days. Um, what would your suggestion be for those individuals on the key takeaway from this conversation? The most important thing is to remember, this is not about just perfection. Um, you know, if you're making a motion picture, the reason why it takes us from six weeks to 10 weeks to three months to make those, that movie that's only 95 minutes in length is because every angle, every shot, we believe should have a perfection about it. Some movies don't do that. And I like that reality that comes from it. Um, so uh, leaving perfection out for a moment, make you perfect and the rest will play off. Rod, I know you're quite busy. Thank you so much for your um, ability to help us be our best selves. And maybe one day we can all win an Academy Award. <laughs> Look, this is, this is the future. Uh, conferencing is this way in the future.
and I want to congratulate uh, UCLA and the AMG uh, for their uh, program they're putting together. I hope it, I hope it uh, shows some things to people about how to present yourself.